Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. And thank you again so much for our time together. I said, Pastor, where in the world are you? Well, if you've been watching this week at COP, you'll know exactly where I am. I'm standing on the main road out in front of what will become our new South Campus. Now, in the background, you'll see the youth hall being built. That's the building that we're going to use for the first few years. That's going to seat a thousand people in a big children's church. And by tomorrow, they actually bring in the crane and start putting the big roofing beams across and start putting in the roof. Here in the big open area, that will be our parking lot, about 200 slots when we first get started. But later, this will become three or four floors of underground parking and then a big 4,000 seat auditorium here on top. So this is our future. We'll be working on it for a very long time. Let me talk to you today about your future. Let me talk to you for just a moment about how you can improve your position, how you can get a promotion, how you can get a better job. And it all deals with you learning to work with God and develop yourself. Too often you and I think that our bosses are going to give us promotions because they like us or we get promotions because of our seniority, but it doesn't work like that. In Matthew chapter 25, Jesus said, again it would be like a man going on a journey. He'd be called his servants and entrusted his property to them. To one he gave five talents of money, to another two talents, and to another one talent, each according to his ability. Now notice, before an employer entrusts their property to you, they look at your ability. Before an employer entrusts their property to you, they look at your ability. To a person who has a larger amount of ability, they give larger responsibility. To a person who has a limited amount of ability, they give limited opportunity. Now, learn to take that and understand it and use it. If you want a promotion, if you want a better job, then you need to begin to improve yourself. You need to begin to develop your abilities. It doesn't have to cost money. There's iTunes University. Get on iTunes, you just look it up as part of iTunes, and there's all this incredible amount of knowledge and, and that you can download for free. Entrepreneurial studies, uh, banking studies, physics studies. I mean, you name it, it's there. Theological studies from Fuller Theological Seminary. It's all there and it's all free. Improve your abilities. A lot of self-improvement is not about money, it's about taking the time and having the discipline to develop yourself. Do you want a promotion? Increase your abilities. Do you want a better job? Improve your abilities.